Hey everyone, on today's episode of the How To Mac, I'm going to show you how to increase the volume of GarageBand songs using some post-production mastering methods. Uh, if you've ever noticed that your songs, once you export them to iP iTunes, play a little bit quieter, um, this is because your individual track volumes on the original GarageBand project are most likely too high, and that causes the normalization feature to actually quiet your sound level. If you click on GarageBand, Preferences, and then the Advanced button, you'll notice that there's a box called Auto Normalize. What this feature does is it takes the high and low levels of sound and creates a normalization pattern that raises the volume of the entire track without risking distortion. However, what the most common problem is for people who are making music in GarageBand is they push the audio limits too hard and creates an already distorted track. So when it goes into normalization, the feature realizes this and ends up actually reducing the overall volume of a track. So the next thing you need to do is go back and make sure you're not in the red for any of your tracks, individual track volume or master track volume. Also, you don't want to fade music in or out at the beginning or end. This will again affect how your track is normalized. So once you've got your track revolumed, send it to iTunes, open another GarageBand project, and drag and drop the same track that you just sent to iTunes back into GarageBand. So now we're going to go and bring up the master track under track, show master track. Go over, click on the I. This will bring up our master effects. I'm turning off the echo and reverb. But what you're looking for here is AU peak limiter. By increasing the pre-gain, you're increasing the master track sound output. At this stage, it's okay for your track to play in the red. The AU peak limiter eliminates spikes and enables you to boost the overall volume of the final mix. If you want your song to play really loud, try setting the pre-gain to around 8 decibels. Now you can resend your song to iTunes and enjoy your song playing at a much louder volume. If you found this video tutorial at all helpful, please click the on-screen subscribe button. This is the How To Mac. Thanks for watching.